Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Seymour Duncan's new silencer range, uh, so called the Perfect Modern P90. So, all the tone of the classic P90 pickup without the hum is Seymour Duncan's new silencer range, the Perfect Modern P90 platform. The new hum resistant P90 launches its headline by signature single coil uh, for Jared James Nichols, uh, this gentleman right here. Uh, he has several signature models. I don't know if he still has a signature Gibson. I know he has a couple of signature Epiphones at this point in time. Uh, and they call him the Blues Rock Master Masteroso. Uh, he calls it his dream pickup. So Seymour Duncan has debated its all new range of silencer P90 pickups, a fresh catalog of P90s that is headlined by the new Jared James Nichols signature single coil. However, while the arrival of the new Pickup is noteworthy itself. The wider lineup in general will no doubt uh, pique the interest of any P90 player. Uh, the clue is in its name, the P90 silencer. So essentially it's a P90 uh, where they have designed it so it does not have 60 cycle hum. So as we all know, uh, or as many guitarists know, when you have a single coil pickup, uh, typically you get some hum. You get a humbucker, which is essentially another two single coil pickups uh, wound opposite of each other, if I remember correctly and that bucks the hum of the single coil. Uh, so uh, it's a pitch that will appeal to many. After all, the best P90s on the market are considered some of the most well-rounded and versatile pickups available, though the hum resulting from the single coil design is enough to put many potential players off. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, it's important to note hum canceling P90s are not new. No, they are not. Uh, Gibson has a P94, I believe, which is a kind of a P90, but I don't really consider it a P90. Uh, it's kind of like Fender's noiseless pickups, where it's essentially a, a pickup stacked on top of each other. Um, they don't call it a humbucker, but it, it's it's essentially a humbucker. Um, and other brands, uh, Seymour Duncan included, have already made efforts to harness the true authentic tone of vintage P90s while eradicating the hum conundrum. Examples include DiMarzio's Phantom P90, Mojo Tone's 56 Quiet Coils, and Lindsay Frail's Hum Canceling P90s, among others. I only know one of those three. Uh, plus, as I said, the Gibson P94. Nevertheless, while not alone in the Hum Canceling P90 camp, Seymour Duncan's silencers range looked to be a generally noteworthy addition to the market, boosting a newly innovative design that retains all the tone and appearances of the classic P90 without the, the 60 cycle hum. Not only that, it's generously a uh, quartet of options, the J&J &J neck, hot and vintage, so that you're, you're getting a couple different options here. Paired with its uh, commitment to a faithful P90 appearances and sound, there's no active wiring here, unlike some other uh, close comparisons, it will likely strike a chord with traditionalists. So yeah, no no worrying about a battery pack here. Seymour Duncan, to my knowledge, uh, there's very few active Seymour Duncan pickups. I think they have blackouts. I believe that's kind of their main uh, active pickup. You see some metal guitars. As I mentioned, the lone JJ and silencer uh, is the highlight here. Simply put, the Seymour Duncan Jared James Nichols P90 silencer. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> is my dream pickup. The Gibson artist said uh, of his new pub, which has been voiced to cover everything from sparkling keen cleans to barking dirty tones. Uh, in perhaps one of the most extravagant tonal summaries you'll ever read, the J&J P90 silencer is described uh, by its master as delicate and strong like a grizzly bear and a paper airplane landing. Interesting. The rest of the range is completed with a sole neck unit which can be paired with any other silencer pickup as well as hot and vintage options for those later two categories. Full sets or lone bridge pickups can be obtained. Um, let's see here. As an added bonus, each of the pickups uh, arrives in both dog ear and soap bar. So if you need a, whatever you got your guitar in, if it's soap bar or dog ear, you know, they get they got you covered. It'll fit, uh, depending on the player preference. Yep. Uh, in other terms of tone, the hot units, unsurprisingly, the hottest set of the lot, offering a more aggressive sound and will probably counteract the low output issues of other hum canceling P90s. Uh, the vintage pickups are equally self-explanatory and are matching two vintage specs for old school tones. Uh, Hadley, all silencers are drop-in replacements for most standard P90 routes. So essentially, if you got an Epiphone or a Gibson, this should hopefully line up pretty easily. Those are the main two I think of when I think of a P90 pickup. In terms of price, uh, the JNN P90 weighs in at $150. 
which, yeah, Seymour Duncan is a name brand pickup. It's just going to be that expensive. While the rest of the lot coming at $139 for the unit, vintage and hot sets are priced at $279. Let's go over to Seymour Duncan here. Uh, this looks like the same article. Yeah, it is. So we got to go to products here. Let's go to products. P90. I want to see what the back of these things look like. So we have the Jane. Okay, yep. P90 silencer. Um, available under the precision. Let's see here. Now, the P rails is something I've always liked. It's basically like a humbucker that fits. Um, this does say it's available too. Something I don't like is they are not showing me, I, I bet you they're going to do it on this too, they're not going to show you the back of the pickup. Yeah, they sure don't. I like to see images of the back of the pickup. It is available, you know, you can buy it if you want it. Um, but let's see if we can get off of the Seymour Duncan website and see if somebody else has it. Let's see if we go to shopping. AliExpress comes up. Of course it does. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Is this what we're looking at? Let's see. Is this what I want? Nope. That is something not guitar related, I think. Yeah, it's not really showing up. So I am very curious if this is a stack P90 or not. Now, there is one image, which I'm assuming this is a guitar chord. I really hope that's a guitar chord. I highly doubt that's the uh, the lead from the pickup, because that would be gargantuan uh, for a pickup lead. Um, but I'm thinking this is probably a stacked P90. That's, that's my best guess. Um, let's see here if we just do Seymour Duncan P90 and see what comes up. P90, and then I believe it's called the Silence. I L E N Silencer. Yeah, it helps if I put P90 and not P80. <laughs> there is a little video demo if you want to see it. Oh, here's one that's in stock. And we have one image, unfortunately. So, no, we can't see the back of it. Um, if you own one of these, uh, more familiar with these, I am very curious. Is this a stacked P90? Because some people don't like that. Some people are like, no, I'm not doing a stacked P90. Uh, and they can make them thinner. So this this is saying it'll fit the standard P90 route. I know the Gibson P94, uh, the route is significantly deeper because, you know, it's, it's, as I said, it's a stacked P90. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot thicker of a sandwich, I guess you could call it, than a regular P90. Um, it's not showing a side profile. You know, it's not, I'm not getting a side profile. This looks like a regular P90 from here, so maybe they were able to just make everything significantly thinner. Um, I'm not really sure, but that is the main question is, is this a stacked P90? I'm not seeing anything indicating it is or isn't. Um, so that that's something that's important to note because I know a lot of you out there are probably as curious as I am. Is it stacked? You know, is it is it actually technically a humbucker? Is that the reason why? Because that's typically how they do it. So every time you see a single coil um, saying it's, you know, there's no hum, that's typically how it is, is it's, it's, it's just stacked. So that's, that's what I want to know is, is it stacked? Is it not stacked? Uh, and I'm hoping at some point that uh, we will be able to see that. Um, Walmart has a picture. That is weird. Oh, no. Okay, well, this is a regular one. So, my mistake. This is not the silencer. But uh, that's interesting. Who knew Walmart sold guitar parts? There you go. Um, but, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Thank you for watching. And, as always, have a good one.